Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and today we're going to look at five, five top easy handles for bare metal lock picks like this. And it doesn't matter whether they're made by a reputable brand or a cheap Chinese make, it doesn't matter at all. All of us at some point will probably have some bare naked handles like this, which are okay for occasional picking, but can be a bit uncomfortable if you're going to be picking every day or for a long period of time. So what I want to do is look at my top five favorite easy, quick and cheap handles for lock picks. Now bear in mind that we're not going to be looking at making custom um, handles like on these two, uh, you know, full and partial tang picks. And um, these are lovely, don't get me wrong, but you know, you want to spend a lot of time on this to get it right. And it's all about the look and feel and all that kind of stuff. What we're looking at is just putting some cheap handles on lock picks to make them more comfortable and more serviceable. So what do we have? Well, most of you will know um, half of these already, I imagine, but this is marine grade shrink tube. It's got a layer of glue which melts and then sets once it's been heated. So we have these. We have, there we go, some lolly sticks or popsicle sticks and again, look, they're, they're already shaped nicely. Uh, you could also use coffee stirrers if you uh, have wide enough ones. I've seen people use those, but this is going to be a coffee stirrer slash popsicle stick uh, substitution. So that's what we have here. Then we've got this, which is one of my favorites, which is big cable ties. Look how big this is, 13 millimeter cable ties. Really, really awesome. Made of nylon, very, very strong. Um, and with this, you've got two sides. Of course, you've got the grippy side and the shiny side. I like the shiny side. Some people prefer the grippy side. Either way. Then we have a piece of, well, tubing. Any metal tubing will do. Copper's quite malleable, so I tend to use that. Um, is it as cheap as the other stuff? No, not really, but it can look quite nice if you like sort of that rough hewn look. I'll, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And finally, some Plasti Dip. Uh, I suppose when I say quick, it's relatively quick if you're doing lots and lots of picks at the same time, because you probably need two or three coats and you need to wait half an hour between coats and then another like four hours for it to dry. But um, we have some Plasti Dip here. So what I suggest we do is we just go to a proper montage. There's nothing complicated here, so I don't need to explain any of it. So let's uh, cue the music and get going. As a bonus, we'll also use a product like uh, Sugru as a handle. But if you don't have that or can't get hold of it, then you could use something like Polymorph instead. But it's a, it's a similar type of moldable polymer that sets into uh, something that you can shape. So let's have a look at that as well as a little bonus.
So I just wanted to show some of these picks midway because you could stop here, okay? You could literally stop with your pick glued into two lolly sticks, no problems. Sure, you know, it might have a bit of uh, glue which you got on there, you didn't wipe off, it might not be 100% aligned to the pick, but th that could be good enough. Same with this, um, you know, you could just leave it like that, it's got a few hammer marks on there. Um, Again, if you used an engineer's vise or something like that with uh, non-wiring jaws, uh, and it's strong enough, because I've broken a vise doing exactly the same thing, you could squash um, a tube onto the pick. But again, you could leave it like that. You could leave it. There's no problems with doing that. Um, same with this, you know, you can trim this off or leave it as it is. What I'm going to do though, is just spend five minutes uh, sanding these down probably um, cutting this off to the, the length of the pick, uh, just keep it in line with all the other ones, and, and then, we'll, uh, then we'll come back. But I'm just saying, you could leave it there, you don't have to do any more than, than this to them, but if you want to, just give them a little bit of a polish up with a bit of sandpaper or you know a file or cut them down to size, whatever you can do. So that's what I'm going to do now, just to make them look all pretty. Um, then I'll come back and t show you what everything looks like in the end. So here we are, all done. And it really didn't take me long. I do want to confess though that this one was uh, made oh, about a year ago. I just didn't have enough short hooks to go around. So I showed you how to actually do the technique, but um, I actually used <laughs> the pick that I was going to use in the cable tie in the popsicle or lollipop stick pick instead. Um, and of course this was from the old footage you saw me splice in. Anyway, enough about that. Let's actually look at each one. This is the popsicle sticks. Um, sanded them down. I shortened this off by about, I would say, two and a half centimeters, about an inch. Um, so it's a bit more comfortable, a bit easier to fit inside a case. Bit of teak oils and beeswax on it, and I think that looks great. Is it as good as, you know, a custom hardwood scale? No, no, it's not. But bear in mind that these lolly sticks or popsicle sticks can cost you as little as about a penny each, or maybe even free if you just, you know, have recycled ones. And I'll tell you what, they are strong. They're strong things. They, they don't flex. They're not too thick. They are brilliant. And like I said earlier, you don't have to do any more sanding. You can just use a bit more glue um, and, and use it as is if you don't really care about the looks. If you do care about the looks, a tiny, tiny amount of effort to sand these back can make it look like this. And I think that that is actually pretty nice and it will actually get used. None of these, none of these picks will get thrown away. Um, I actually use all of these picks and I think the wooden one is very good. It's probably, probably the cheapest out of all of these. It's cheap, it looks nice and it's strong and it doesn't flex. The next one to look at is the cable ties. Arguably the third uh, cheapest. I think the second cheapest is probably the uh, shrink tube. Um, this one, I didn't use a clear epoxy, I actually used some JB Weld when I did this one. It's still an epoxy resin, it's just got some extra metal filings in it. But again, once you've got the pick inside there, it's got a small amount of flex, but not much. And in terms of thickness, it's really thin. Quite honestly, thick cable ties like this is one of my favourite um, handles. It just is so, so good especially for really thin picks. I think this one's a 15 thousandth. Um, it's just really, really strong and it's really easy to use. It's very easy to cut, shape, glue. I can't think of any uh, downsides to it other than the fact it's a little bit more expensive than the wood. Um, but the thickness you get there is just lovely, really good. Definitely would recommend you do that. Now, whether this is Sugru or Polymorph or whatever, the finish on these, unless you have a mold made for them, which you could do, you could route a mold into something or 3D print one. Um, the finish is gonna be as good as you can sort of smooth with your fingers. Uh, the advantage is, of course, you could actually shape it to your own individual grip. So if you have mobility issues in your hand, for example, an injury or whatever, then uh, a polymorph or Suguru grip can actually be very comfortable. You can make it as comfortable as you want. Uh, however, it is still quite flexy, not a big deal, but it's, I don't know, does that look nice? I don't think it looks very nice. If if it looking nice isn't a bother, then it's quite good. Polymorph is so much cheaper than Sugru. Sugru is super expensive. So um, 
I don't know. Uh, I, I thought I'd show you that handle, but it's not one I'd ever really repeat, just because I think some aesthetics, for me, it, it just works. So it is comfortable, sure. Um, the Subaru is expensive. Polymorph's a bit cheaper, but I still don't like the look of it. Sorry for those who do. Okay. Now this is one that I use all the time. I think m most of us do, really. Uh, just a bit of shrink tube. I would recommend the marine grade one with the glue inside. Um, why do we use this? Because it's really cheap and it's by far the quickest way to stick a handle on. Yes, it can be a bit flexible. You can put some extra um, wiper blade inserts in here to, to make it a little stronger. But frankly, it's quick, it's easy. And when I'm, I'm not feeling up to making some handles out of the nylon cable ties, it's just so good. It's comfortable, it works, it's quick. It quite honestly doesn't even look too bad, especially if you sort of, you know, round off the ends. Quite, I mean, let's face it, it's very hard to say why you do any of the other hacks um, if flexibility wasn't an issue for you, because it is cheap, it is easy, it is quick, and it does look quite nice. You could also, um, I think you get different colors of the cable ties, but you certainly get loads of colors of this, and you can color code your picks to the different thicknesses and uh, styles, and you know, color code your rakes, and whatever you want. It's so versatile. Okay, next one is, and I think it's a really nice finish, actually, on this. This is uh, Plasti Dip, um, and it's really nice. It feels very nice. It's It's nice on the hands, it looks good, but plastic dip, I mean, it, the, the stuff itself is relatively expensive, especially in the UK, but I, I guess if you're dipping picks in it, it will last you for possibly years. The only downside is that whilst it's very quick to apply, you've got to wait half an hour between coats, four hours before you use it. Um, it's hard to get sort of an even finish, it's a bit messy, and really over, over this, you know, is that is it? Uh, it's nice. Don't get me wrong, but is it so much nicer that you wouldn't use a bit of shrink tube? For me, no, no. I think it, yeah, it's a tiny bit neater maybe, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, it looks good. It's very quick, sort of to apply, but then you can't use it for hours afterwards. You can apply this and use it straight away, um, and it is still obviously flexible because it's it's just like um, a rubber. And finally, let's have a look at this. Now, I left a sort of a brushed finish on here because I could, I didn't want to put polish on here. Um, what I didn't mention earlier is the fact that you don't have to have it sort of sandwiched on the pick like that. You can have it extended out if you want a longer handle. The only disadvantage is that these are quite heavy. Um, <sighs> again, it's hard to recommend doing it this way because the uh, brass that you'd be using, uh, it's it's expensive, it's hard to, to work unless you have a very strong engineer's vice uh, and, and you can squash the tubing. It does look quite nice uh, and it's kind of quite smart in that regard, but again, I just want to show you a technique that gives you a quick and easy handle, but it is, I guess, a bit expensive and it can look a bit rubbishy if you don't have a sander to sand it back um so again it's a uh, you know it gives a heavy handle but it is so so strong this is so strong it's got barely any flex it does look quite nice once you finish it it is quite comfortable but i don't know i, I don't do that on many picks i've probably done it on about three since i've been lot picking now if i had to choose my order of things i would do, um, it's probably in this order. So in terms of my personal preferences, and that's weighing up all the pros and all the cons of all the techniques, speed, ease, cost, all those other things. For me personally, I just can't beat shrink tube. Um, the only disadvantage is it's a little bit flexible, but it's comfortable and it's great and it works and it's cheap and you get all the different colors. Again, you get all the different colors of these cable ties. They are reasonably good value, but they, you know, they're not as cheap as a shrink tube, not at all. 
but they do give a very thin, very strong handle, and that's hard to beat. And it also looks really, really nice, almost like a professional handle or 3D printed handle. Um, very little work to get a huge, huge benefit. The wood, um, the popsicle sticks or the coffee stirrers, I mean, it's so cheap and so strong and so easy to do, especially if you've got um, a power sander. Uh, but for me, just aesthetically uh, and mechanically, honestly, the cable ties just edge it. You may disagree, um, but, but for me it does. And again, you can use the wider popsicle sticks if you want. You can even use a router to route a groove and then have the wood on wood effect, which is quite nice. Plasti uh, dip, again, it's, it's, it's perfectly good actually. I can see me using it in other applications, but for lock picks, honestly, the same sort of feel and style I can get super quick with um, a shrink tube. And of course the Suguru, um, the, oh, miss one out. The brass, it looks fine. Um, you, but if you're gonna put brass handles on, you probably want to do it properly with uh, brass scales and, and do a custom pick rather than just smash some tubing around a, a pick with a bit of glue on it. Again, it's a lot quicker. It's a bit of a hack. Um, it can look quite nice. You can make it as long as you want, but yeah, not so much for me. And again, with the Suguru or Polymorph, um, I just don't like the look of it. And it doesn't give you a massive advantage over some um, decent shrink tubing. Although, as I said earlier, of course, if you have mobility issues in your hand, um, you want something that's ergonomically more comfortable, then that could be an option. So, which one is your favorite? I'd really like to know. Also, do you have a quick, cheap, easy handle um, that you can put on a, a, a pick that I haven't shown you here? Is, is there a technique or something where you go, ah, what I do is, you know, tell us what, what's your way of doing a very quick um, and easy and cheap handle for your lock picks? I'd really like to know. And of course, people do read the comments and they would like to know too. So do let me know in the comments. I read them all. I reply to me as I can. If you like this video, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed and like content like this, want to see more like it, please, please, please subscribe. It really helps me out. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you all next time.